Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Super Fantasify. This being a show where I talk about TV shows of the supernatural, fantasy, and or science fictional genre. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the season finale of the Winchesters. Great season finale. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. Holy crap. Okay, so that opening alone already, before we even got to the later parts of the episode, the opening changed everything. Because I kept being like, okay, this is, I just kept assuming like, alright, this has got to be Dean time traveling. It's not the first time we've had the time traveling element in, um, in the supernatural universe. And so, when it was all said, like, when he shows up and he gives the letter to, uh, um... Uh, John, I was like, okay, okay, and then Bobby was there, I was like, wait, Bobby, I was like, whoa, 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 I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I was like, oh my god, I felt so stupid, because then I was like, because I thought like, oh, because he's time traveling, it doesn't make him of this earth, I was like, why didn't it click in my head sooner, I feel like such an idiot, he's not of this earth, because this is Dean post-supernatural, he's already dead and in heaven, I'm like, oh my god, Because, and I love it, because I'm like, the moment they're there, I'm like, Oh my God, that's how you write around Sam not being in, in the Winchesters is, oh, uh, this is pre-Sam dying. He's still on Earth living his life in pre present day. I'm like, oh my, that's so good. Because I'd already made comparisons to like, I went into this compare, well, not went into this. It wasn't until they introduced the Dean element, but then I kind of second guessed myself being like, wait, is that actually Dean? Yes, it was Dean. But yeah, I, I compared this to Krypton because if you don't know, that's basically, there was a show on, um, uh, sci-fi that was called Krypton. I've talked about this previ previously, but this is your first uh, time hearing me talking about it. Basically, it had a similar premise. Uh, a guy named Adam Strange went back in time and met Superman's grandfather to make sure, he's like, hey, I'm here to make sure that your grandson is raised because he becomes the greatest superhero in ex like in the universe, one of the, its top saviors. So that's what I, I, that's what I ended up paralleling this to. And I was like, that's so interesting. Him and Bob, uh, Dean and Bobby being like, all right, we're not supposed to interfere, but it's like, all right, agent, one last hunt, one last, I was like, Wait, I'm like, are you agents of heaven? I'm like, well, you're not, because you're not angels. You're you're human. You're still human. I mean, but you're dead humans. I was like, dude. I was like, this is wild. So they set the stage with that. Then we had the whole situation of, obviously, this is coming at a time when Mary still hasn't figured out what she's doing. Obviously, we're, we, we, we're on a timetable. We have to take out the Queen of the Accreta now, or she gets open the portal and go off and do her thing. So... But Mary's still struggling on trying to figure stuff out. And obviously Samuel wants to give his support, but it's like, wait, uh, you're not going to, are you going to college? Does that mean you're not, oh, I'm, you're still leaving hunting, but does that mean you're going to leave town? What does that mean for you and John? And even Millie and John have that same conversation about that. And it's like both of them have to, they have to figure things out. So obviously Ada ends up telling the team about the crystal being a one shot and it's going to need a piece of her soul because that does not come up before about a fraction of a soul I don't think because she was like right the moment I use like eventually like even using a piece of your soul eventually the rest of it will fade away I guess it's like a maybe over time thing and not all at once thing just the way the episode plays out but I'm like interesting because obviously we've dealt with like losing your soul all at once i don't think there was ever, ever an instance in the original series in supernatural where it's like a piece by piece basis thing of like oh it slowly fades away do let me know in the comments down below uh but i i don't remember there being an instance of that but maybe there was either way uh sam mary and john go and face off against the queen because it turns out uh, they, because there was a hunter who was like, yes, yeah, she'd seen the mystery man Dean, and it was like going to help them. And, and the way she was talking about it, the way she's like, oh yeah, I threw him through the portal and killed him, which I was like, no, you're not going to be able to kill. Because she's like, yeah, no human's going to survive. It's like, well, he's not human, he's dead. So, um, but it's like uh, the interesting development is we find out that Joan herself was a hunter. She isn't just some like. I guess she's different from the Akrita. She's not, she's a queen of the Akrita, but she's not actually an Akrita. I'm like, that's, I mean, first and foremost, that was kind of a neat review. Because my bet, because uh, I talked about it earlier on in the series, I was like, yeah, we're going to find, because Mary hadn't been able to get in contact with her mom. That's a storyline thread they kind of let go of. So that's why I was like, oh, I get, because we now see like Joan is the queen. So I was like, oh, so it's not. Um, her mom, because the queen isn't an Akrita, she doesn't have to possess a body, Joan is who she is, because it turns out Joan used to be a hunter, and 
she because I was thinking like Joan, Joan, Joan. I was like, is that someone supposed to know? Like before we got the reveal that she was the queen, I was like, Joan, Joan, Joan. Is that? I was like, that name sounded familiar, but I was like, I, I was wondering if that was someone we were supposed to know from Supernatural later on. But it's like, no, she's the uh, she's the queen of the Akrita, and basically she's been alive since like the 1600s because she she was a hunter, but she saw how. That she got tired of that life because she was once human. I mean, which isn't too much of a surprise. A lot of supernaturals were human at one point in time. I mean, we know demons were humans at one point in time. I mean, with Dean's circumstances, we got to see it firsthand of a human becoming a demon. So it's not completely out there, but it's like, yeah, she enhanced herself of like monster abilities and stuff and became obsessed with power because. She got tired of the rigmarole, the grind of it all, of like, right, you know, it's always going to be another hunt. There's always going to be another case. There's always going to be another monster. You know, there's always going to be another apocalypse. So I thought was interesting. I was like, oh, so you've dealt with apocalypses in your day as well. It's like, well, I mean, they're kind of dealing with an an accrete apocalypse right now. So it's not out uh, completely out of uh, out of nowhere. But then you also add in the fact is that I was like, okay, so. Because obviously Apocalypse have always just been the Winchester thing. I mean, obviously other people have gotten involved, but it's always mainly been a Winchester thing. So to be like, oh, someone else had to deal with it as well. So it's like, okay, okay, so that's interesting. But for her, it's like, yeah, she plans on wiping out all of humanity. Because like, she's like, humans end up being the problem. Because time and time again, they were given second chances. And what do they do? They squander it. So she's like, yeah, monsters aren't the issues. Monsters actually have the right idea. We need to wipe out humanity. It's so interesting because, like, obviously, in the original series, that was the whole plot of season eight. I think I even brought that up, like, at one point in time uh, during during the, uh, one of these reviews. But it's like, yeah, the point, point was Sam to undergo those trials to basically wipe out all monsters. And they didn't go through with it. And that led to all, you know, Metatron and the angels falling and being stuck on Earth whole situation. So... I mean, what makes it worse, too, is, like, it's like, oh, know thy enemy. They know a little bit about her at the time, but, like, Joan knew everything about them because it's like, cool, I've done research. There's luckily a long laundry list of police files on each and every one of you, and Joan kind of found herself as a bit of a kindred spirit when it came to Mary. It's like, right, we're both, we're actually the same because it's like, I want you actually to join me in this, like, join together together. You know, it's like, because she's like, yeah, I don't want any more hunters to needlessly die. It's like, well, to be fair, she has been mainly killing regular people when it comes to these things. And it's been regular people you're possessing. I mean, maybe there's, I don't, I'm trying to remember, have there been any hunters? It's like, no, it's just been regular people because she has a soft spot for hunters. So she also implied something later on that I think we kind of later on get context for where she was like, oh, I wiped out the man of letters. So I'm like. That's interesting because once again, we know there's like a a, a, a a Europe branch of the men of letters, but I think later developments kind of give an answer to that. But either way, um, once again, she removed Dean from the equation through him and his car through the the she's like I opened up a port enough to like toss them through. So obviously he got ripped into pieces. There's no way he survived. No human could. Uh, yada yada. Obviously, once again, she didn't know. Um, I haven't thought that was interesting, like, the moment she had with Lada, too, where it's like, oh, there you are, breaking your pacifist streak. It's like, oh, you've been holding back. It's like, right, she she never went down the more violent route because she chose not to. She didn't want, she wanted to kind of, I think because of the past and everything, is kind of part of the reason why I think she went the pacifist route. Um, kind of understandable, once again, from her family circumstances, but... Uh, it's like, oh, you kind of broke that on me, but it's like, yeah, how do you, you're slicing her, you're stabbing her in the heart, it like does nothing, she just keeps going like the Terminator, so, she ends up, uh, burning the, the sigil off of, um, of, uh, Lata and infecting her with an Akrita, which I'm like, were demons ever able to do that? Just like straight up, rem- I don't think any demon, I don't think they ever came up in Supernatural, did it? Once again, another thing to let me know in the comments down below if uh, the demons could just, like, burn the city. Like, if not even just demons, but just anyone could just burn those um, those markings off of you so that a demon could end up possessing you. I don't think so, but either way. Sadly, Ada had to use 
that piece of her soul, that one shot, if it meant saving Lotta. It's like, yeah, that was her one shot against the Queen, but they did come up with another plan. It's like, well, we can use the Ostium, like, right, it banished the Queen to her world. Well, the fact of the matter is, if we use something connected to that uh, mystery man, Dean, maybe we can bring him back to this world. And that thing ended up being um, the journal. I was like, right, you didn't look through it and stuff like that? I was like, well, when you look at the journal, it's very pristine because it's not it's not their dad's journal. It's not uh, it's not John's future journal. It's uh, just Dean's journal, his, his own. So I guess there was like nothing pertinent in it. I wonder, is it stuff that he was very keen about, like, keeping things vague? He never, like, put any dates or anything that was, like, more modern day. Maybe he only included, like, stuff of, like, hey, these are the monsters you encountered. This is, like, how you would deal with them. Because a lot of supernatural things, you don't need a more modern solution. They can be old school solutions of, like, because it's usually, like, very special ingredients or very specific things. Like, oh, maybe a silver blade or something like that. So I'm sure there was ways of writing around that without, like, giving away anything, like, future-wise, you know? Because I'm wondering, is it something that... Because I'm like, they always use their dad's journal. They never use anything of like their own. So I'm like, that must be something Dean put together post-heaven, maybe? Or maybe maybe I'm just not remembering like his own journal. But they always relied on their dad's journal. I guess the entire time, maybe, while he was here... Because he's been here for a minute now. So part of me wonders, could it be that... um Obviously, those monologues were him like leaving note journal notes in the in the as entries as well. So, because when he kind of implying like, oh yeah, he read read some of his father's old files, uh, old journals. Isn't that where this all supposed to supposedly started? Maybe I'm misremembering. Either way, Joan ends up breaking the seal that the Men of Letters ended up creating to stop her, to get her stuck in this world. And so, the team trying to buy enough time for the Ostium to do its thing. But it turns out, Joan used, the, before she was kind of in this world, like, she used the last of her energy that she had and ended up uh, killing the men of letters in this universe, including John's dad. Now, I don't know if that was her just saying that to be spiteful, but it's probably true as well. Because, like, we never actually found out how uh, John's dad actually died in this universe. I don't, I don't think we did. Either way. We learned some really, really interesting stuff from the uh, before the Akrita was killed inside of um, before the Akrita was killed inside of Lata or yeah. So it says like okay, so we find out like right uh, when the problem is when the um, men of letters sit like open the portal, they sent Joan to their world, and then they started talking about like other worlds. I was like, whoa, 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 wait, what? It's like. And then the moment they were like, yeah, we were made from an angry God. I was like, shut up. And then I was like, oh my God, you guys were created by Chuck. I was like, oh my. So you're how Chuck was. Well, there his fail set. Because I was about to say like Chuck was going around wiping out worlds. But I guess like in the event he failed, he had the Krita as a backup. And so I wonder what world are they from? I was about to say, I was wondering, I was like, could they be from that monster world that the other... God, what was her? What was it like? That, what was her character's name? Was it like Kaya? Like maybe the I was like, could she remember? She was from like a monster world. I was like, cause we know he wiped out every world except for the the supernatural world we knew that that Earth that we knew um, that the mainline canon of the show took place. Like he wiped out every other, but Jack rebuilt the multiverse, and it's like I guess like after the events of like oh after that was all said and done after Chuck lost. Boom, boom, boom. The Akrita started their, like, approach. So I wonder if this was supposed to be, was this their first world? Like, yeah, they were like, yeah, we're going to wipe out all humanity across the multiverse. I was like, yo. Because it never even crossed my mind. Later on, we find out, yeah, this isn't the past. Dean traveled the multiverse. And he, and time traveled. But still, like, yeah, this is him traveling the multiverse. I was like, oh, that's so good. It's, oh my God. It's like... Once again, it's a sequel with prequel elements in some regards, but it's also not even the main. That's why you could get around doing stuff like, oh, killing off all the men of letters, which I was like, oh, that's interesting. Introducing Rowena this early on. And once again, um, the whole situation with Gabriel. Once again, is that the real Gabriel or is that like 
the real like uh is that a real trickster that uh Gabriel eventually would take his face and pretend to be him cuz like once again the gods knew him as Loki uh the other gods knew him as Loki and not didn't know he was an angel Gabriel so that's why I was like is that him still playing at cuz he always does this cuz he's like oh I'm sealed away oh no it's like you know you could probably get out of that but you're just playing around maybe once again there could be a fake in there so meaning like leaves room for him to always pop up later on if need be if they want to storytelling wise but I mean, initially, Dean isn't the one that comes out of the portal when they do use the ostium. It's the car. I was like, oh, how poetic. It's like, yeah, let's use this. Like, if we can hit the queen with this, it is not of this earth technically, so it should kill her. And so during the fight, Mary is willing to sacrifice. I was like, whoa, are we really doing this? I was like, there's still a good chunk of this episode left. But then, like, the portal opens up again. I was like, oh, man, it's not going to be Mary. It's like, you could tell the seal out. You're like, oh, it's Dean. I was like, damn. I was like, so it's going to be about saving Mary going for. Oh, nope, Mary's still alive. It's like, nope, he's like, right, the portal couldn't kill me. I was kind of stuck in a lane between. So the moment the car went through, I hopped in that baby, grabbed Mary, and boom, we were out. So I guess Joan is dead, dead, considering she was hit by something not of this earth. So I don't, I guess that's implying like she's dead. I don't think it's like, a, oh, she landed on another earth. Maybe. We saw the Akrita kind of bail, but that might have just been like the Akrita inside of them dying and everyone kind of becoming normal. Give me like, the fact that they ran away made me almost think like maybe they're not dead, dead. I don't, I'm assuming so because like, because if it was just say, oh, they were regular people, then what would, what the fact is they were just kind of like looking around and then ran away. I mean, so maybe that's just a natural reaction, but I, they've been like, oh, what's, what's going on? I don't remember. I mean, they remember enough a little bit, so. Sadly, Roxy couldn't be there for the end because she was like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't be there when this when you end up like killing the queen and everything. So and then there's there's Dean. It's like, yo, they're like, who are you? He's like, yeah, I'm just a hunter I, and ends up talking about, hey, I'm dead. But you could tell that look on his face because it's like, wow, it's, he's seeing everybody. It's like, hey, there, there's Grandma Millie. And oh, my God, that's Grandpa Sam. And because that's also something I was thinking about, too, the very heartbreaking thing about when Dean is there at the beginning. Because, once again, it's like he's not supposed to interfere, but he's like, as he even says it at the end. It's like, oh, yeah, just I kind of nudged things along. This is how things were meant to be. I just kind of nudged it along. And so the fact is that um, he knows what his family's future holds. So it's got to be sad when he sees his dad because it's like, oh, man, this is dad so young, which isn't the first time he's met a young version of his dad. But it's still just the knowing what the future holds for them. But not quite, because this isn't his earth. Like, the whole point was when he was in heaven and everything, he was like, yeah, the car showed up and I, I drove off. And he's like, I guess before he ends up meeting up with Sam, because obviously that's later on down the road while Sam's living his entire life. For him, it's like, hey, I need it. I, I wanted to take a detour. I wanted to check out the multiverse. Is there some world where my family got to be happy, where it wasn't just his his family always managed to yes they're together now but it's also that thing of my family's been ripped asunder like so many times like it's just been one thing after another i want us to live a happy normal ish life where we didn't have to be separated so he came like the moment he found out about the Cretus plan is what he stumbled across because he's like yeah this is chuck's fail safe and they're like chuck it's like yeah it's god long story short He's, he's a real dick. I'm like, oh my god, dude. I mean, plus he's like basically human and powerless, which I'm wondering, are they going to play with that in some shape or form? Probably not. Um, in, in the regards of like him trying to gain back all that he lost, I think that's uh, that's already taken care of. There's no, I think that's a, we're not going to backtrack on that or like make him try and uh, get power. So I don't, I don't think that's going to end up happening. But my, my point is, um, And Dean not telling them who he really is, which of course, because he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to affect this world too much. He's, he can't let them have too much knowledge about the future because it's like, but for him, it's still like a thing of like, yeah, my seeing my family, they, they are family, each and every one of them there because that's family to uh, Mary and John, and it's like makes you family to us. And it's like, yeah, my, I, I just, I come from a long line of hunters, and I just wanted a world where my family could be happy. So, stopping the Akrita. Because for him, it's like, I want to make sure they never make it to my world because my brother, you know, Sam's still there living his life and he wants him to live a long life. And lo and behold, it isn't just Bobby that shows up. It's freaking Jack with the 
yeah. I mean, you are playing the God role now, but it's like, yeah, they kind of got in trouble. Bobby kind of reached out to Jack and said, like, yeah, we, I told you I figured it out. Granted, obviously, we'd, uh, we'd have some trouble. We'd get in big trouble. But it's like, Jack's like, yeah, I wanted to make sure. I actually forgot he said it. I think he said it in ep the penultimate episode. But I was like, yeah, like he wasn't going to do what Chuck did. Chuck interfered. He made it his plaything. And it's like, no, for Jack, it's like, I want autonomy for everybody i want people to be able to kind of do what everyone across the multiverse to have free will to matter for them to have their own choices for them not to be i'm not going to be the same thing as chuck where i become so obsessed with you guys being my plaything. it's like that's that's not what this is going to be so we're not allowed to interfere but for dean it's like i just couldn't I my brother deserves to live a happy long life and they deserved a second chance to people here so but it's like right if you're going to see this through see it through all the way you know and it's like and jack even saying that line of there will be peace so we can get to that there will be peace when you are done part of the song i was like shut up jack shut up but yes 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 i was like oh my god that's so good Interestingly enough, that actually, the other time I've heard that song play was in um, Big Sky. Uh, I think it was before Jensen Ackles showed up in that. I think that might have been beforehand. But I, obviously, it's like, my, I will always associate that song with Supernatural because it's the first time I ever heard that song was because of Supernatural. It's such a good song. Because when it kicks in, you're just like, oh, before the instrumentals even kick in it, and it's just kind of acapelloing a little bit. You're like, oh, it's so... And then when the instrumentals hit, you're like, yeah! Sorry, getting too hyped. But I'm like, dude, this is so good. And it's like, right, that world... And, you know, uh, Dean ends up talking to Mary and, and, and uh, John. It's like, right... My dad, he's like, I live by my dad's journal. So he's like, here, here's mine. And it was like, it's very sweet for it to be on the other side. It's like, it's not his dad, but it's a version of his dad. that is like, oh, your dad gave you his journal. Now you get to give your dad a version of your dad a journal to kind of go by. It's like, right, you're going to stay hunting. This will help you in the long run. And he leaves Mary with essentially, looks like the cult. And I'm like, Dude, for one, bringing that back, and also it's like, yeah, there's a yellow eyes like demon showing up here. Take, I was like, wow, because he's trying to give them every chance that he can. So I was also wondering if they were going to do something about Ada Soul, but luckily Lada deals with that later. But I was about to say, like, we know Jack uh, dealt with that too. I actually forgot about that too. I had to correct myself earlier because I was like, oh, did we ever do with that in Supernatural? I was like, right. Jack kept burning away his soul every time he kept using his powers. That was the whole reason why he was kind of like had no humanity for a while i'd actually let that slip my mind i was like right 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 so that was interesting so yeah we have dealt with the whole like burning away the we piece by piece of the soul type of situation i, I completely forgot about the jack circumstance of it all either way but uh that was kind of like wow dude and Jack, Bobby, and Dean leave i was like wow so we probably won't that that's and also probably like I guess that also makes it so that like, Jensen is open to do other stuff too. Like this was just going to be like a, a one a one off thing of like, you might still get some voiceover from him from time to time. Maybe it'd be interesting if like in the future you'd get like John doing the voiceover type of thing. I think that'd be interesting, but this being a completely different world that also opens it up because it is a different world. It's like, cool. There's going to be some similarities, but already this world is kind of diverted because like the men of letters are dead. Maybe not, maybe a fraction of them still survived and Joan didn't know that. And they kind of, you know, build themselves out. But also it's like, also leaves you open to kind of do whatever you want to, because this is a different world where it's like, it's similar, but things are going to play out a little differently, which also opens up the possibility that this might be a very different supernatural world because this world maybe mary and john get to have that complete happily ever after and potentially sam and dean if they have sam and dean they might pull a thing of like oh you never know it might be they might end up having a samantha or a um Denise, I was trying to think of like, you know, maybe like a, uh, a male equivalency of a female equivalency of Dean and like maybe a Denise or something like that. You know, they might end up with one child or maybe they might end up with multiple children. You never know. It's like, let's not because for, uh, I've talked about this recently. Let's not forget about the whole Adam of it all. It's like, right, they do have a half sibling out there. So, but it's like, maybe it's just, it's going to just be a John. 
Well, that was probably like after, that was most likely after Mary died. So, either way, maybe? Yeah, most likely. I think that was because he was like the younger half-brother, I believe. Anyway, tangents and all that aside, it leaves a, a large opportunity for this world to kind of do whatever it wanted to. So, you're not, comp because it is a different world, because we have set that up, this world isn't adherent to... Um, the canon of supernatural to some extent you could once again you could still fudge some stuff here and there because once again it's a different world so things could kind of get presented in a different way so i thought that was ah, that's so dope and like i said lots of being able to bring back that fraction of um ada soul because i was like yeah that seems like that might go down the vampire diary route you know the whole thing of like yeah every time like a lark would die and obviously it was mainly a lark and jeremy a lot of you know sometimes a mat but it mainly be a lark and Jeremy that anytime they die, a lark eventually lost, like, his soul started getting eaten away, and he started turning, like, evil. That was a whole thing. Or was he, yeah, I think it was like, yeah, he started turning evil, or did he get possessed by the evil spirit of someone because he kept on? Either way, I was wondering if that was going to happen to Ada until she, like, I mean, obviously, having no soul doesn't fully make you evil, but just means you kind of have no, like, no humanity, obviously, so entering the vampire diaries lane in that regard but obviously once again we've dealt with that no humanity thing a couple times and um supernatural as well and obviously we've seen like yeah you can you, you can make keep going afterwards without too much of interference in your life uh but yeah uh john and mary were kind of saying their goodbye well um john went i guess back out not john uh, sam went back out hunting and stuff like that but then you had um Mary, she, she's quitting the life. And obviously her and John are going to have to say goodbye for a while. Because for her, she can't stick around because it's just too many reminders of who she used to be. But for John, he finally, he was lost for such a long time. And now he finally found a place where he belongs. And he feels like there's a lot, he's got to work on himself. A lot of that anger inside of him. It's like, he's like, so that I'm no longer, I don't have to be like in the driver's seat anymore type of thing. So... Obviously, the rest of the squad was getting ready to kind of get ready for the next uh, case, but Mary circled back around because it's like, I was kind of hoping that'd be the case. I was hoping they'd go together, and it's like, ultimately, they do. It's taking a road trip. It's like, right, uh, we kind of figure things out together during the day, and then at night, you can do hunting because obviously, hunting has helped you where helped you find, hopefully, it can all help you help us both find answers about what's next so you know them in the car it's like no 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 like uh james Hetfield was very specific about hey we need uh the music selection being important obviously you're in the driver's seat you get the you get to choose type of situation so i thought that was pretty dope i was scared i was like oh we're gonna have like some like stinger at the end where it's like set up or whatever but it's like nah them kind of driving off and you know very re reminiscent of I was, I was scared we would get kind of like a, a stinger, like, oh, there's a reveal, maybe like kind of like a, I doubt, I was, in my head, I immediately, I was like, are we going to find out it's actually Joan inside of Mary's body and Dean missed that? I was like, I feel like Jack and them would have noticed something like that. That's what I was wondering, but it seemed like it was like a happily ever after type of situation. So at the time of me recording this, it still hasn't been confirmed whether or not the CW is going to renew uh, the Winchesters, which I really hope they do because I'd love to see where Season 2 goes, but a lot of stuff has to be considered. There's been so much restructuring at the um, at the CW. Um, I was skimming some stuff being like, yeah, even if it doesn't get renewed at the CW, there's always a possibility it could get picked up somewhere else because I also I don't know what the viewership is like. I'm sure there's a lot of Supernatural fans who are watching. That's a, that's a massive audience that I'm sure like, oh my god, you get something else Supernatural related? Hell yeah. And especially with what they've set up in this regard, I'm like, I mean, obviously this could be like a multi-seasonal show just like Supernatural. Will it go on for like 15 years like Supernatural? Probably not. But, you know, I, I'm assuming we'd stay in this world because that was the whole point. But like I said, because especially in this world, we could have a lot of fun with, like, keeping certain things the way we know them to be, but also changing things. Uh, and once again, because Dean went out of his way to this particular world, it's like, right, this is a world where I think everything will work out for the better. Doesn't mean there won't be sadness, there won't be hurt, there won't be loss along the way, but... Maybe for the Winchesters, this might be a world where, I mean, they, you know, they've won in other capacities, but maybe this is a world where they win and it matters in the regard of like that family not having the tragedy that it is. You know, maybe this could be a world where it all works out for them in the end. So 
Uh, that's why I think, like, I was about to say, like, not unless we're going to be universe hopping with the Winchester stuff, but I'm like, I doubt it. It's like, we're going to stay in this world. So I don't know. I doubt that's like, I think that's the last we'll get of the multiversal stuff. I don't know if we're going to get, like, maybe because it is another world, we can introduce other storyline elements like the angels. Like, we could get that started even sooner. I mean, now they know off the top of the hair, it's like, yeah, Chuck was like, well, to be fair, Chuck, it's also knowing, like, oh, there's a heaven, but also knowing, like, Oh, but there was a god, but his name's Chuck. We don't know the full story about that. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, go back and watch Supernatural. You'll find, you know, you know, so it's like, I mean, I'm not saying that in the context of anyone listening. I mean, even like, oh, it's like funny to think about like, oh yeah, like, uh, you know, if you're able to get like a multiversal, uh, look back on the su- Supernatural universe, you'll find out what happened to Chuck. You people, Winchester's in this particular universe, so... Uh, just like Mary and um, John kind of off on their own, you know, kind of there. Obviously, I didn't even think about it, but obviously just straight up mirroring Sam and Dean uh, and their circumstances. So I don't know if that'd be the last you see of the crew. But yeah, you maybe like when if you pick up with them in season two, they're making their way back to Kansas, maybe. Or maybe we see how the team's holding up without, you know, uh, without uh, I keep wanting to say Sam and Dean, uh, Mary and uh john you know so there's a lot of i think fun things they could end up doing that hopefully they get the opportunity for it's like i said it's just it's with everything on the cw i feel like usually if there was going to be a with it, it it is a little concerning that you haven't heard anything yet so that you know they're probably still in the process deciding so i was reading something saying like oh maybe it could go to hbo max which i'm like even that's not a guarantee with anything just because it's like well let's not forget like warner brothers has been doing a warner discovery and there's been a lot of shuffling on that part especially on the hbo max side of things so it's like that, even that's not a guarantee so that's the thing it has a satisfying enough ending that you're like i want more but if we get this that's that's kind of nice it'll just be kind of this pocket story that we got um giving us kind of, once again, our cake and eating it too, a sequel to Supernatural, but also like a, with a lot of prequel elements. And then obviously going forward, you lean into more prequel elements going forward, I'm sure. But like I said, because it's a different world, you're not 100% adherent to the canon of the world we know from Supernatural because this is a different world. So we'll ultimately have to wait to see uh, what happens. Like I said, fingers crossed, hoping for a second season. I hope not just one more season hopefully the show gets to run for a couple years and gets to kind of expand and just kind of do its own thing you know but you know we'll have to wait and see but really that's all i wanted to talk about until the next time we meet be happy be safe live life to the fullest and enjoy it good day and good